time no see. I know, it's been so long since I've posted a video. Long no see because Disneyland being closed and then work and school, life just got too busy to make videos while I came down to Disneyland. But I am not starting my YouTube channel again, but I will make videos occasionally. Right now I am in Disneyland, but I'm actually waiting for some breakfast right now. I am at the Red Rose Tavern and they have an eggnog cold brew latte that I am trying and I'm so excited. Um, so right now my friend is grabbing that for us so we can try it. All right, so I've had a few sips of this delicious eggnog cold brew latte. It is delicious. <laughs> if you do like more of a coffee taste for your eggnog la lattes, I highly recommend this. If you like more so of Starbucks eggnog latte, where it's way more sweeter, you're not gonna like it, but I like both, so I do think this is a win. It is here at the Red Rose Tavern in Fantasyland. Hey guys, so today I am in the parks with my friend Amber. Do you wanna introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Amber. I'm a huge Disney fan. I love coming to the parks with my friend Sarah, Aww. dressing up, riding the rides, and of course my favorite is all of the food yes you guys know how much I love food so today we are actually gonna head over to DCA to do the festival of food over there it was actually open last night but they didn't have the sip and savor passes available to purchase yet so we wanted to wait till today so we can do that but we did walk around to all of the food vendors mm -hmm. and we picked out some of our favorites because there is a lot of food to try so we're not gonna be able to do it all but we will try our favorites today. But right now we are in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge because we are waiting for our boarding group for Rise of the Resistance. Yes, the best ride Seriously, ever. the best ride. I will try to film as much as I can, but it's also one of those things I've only done once and I just really want to enjoy it. But I will try to film as much as I can because I know people are curious about it because it is such a phenomenal ride. It's literally one of the best rides Disney's ever done. But. Yeah, so I'll just follow along today as we go around Disneyland and California Adventure, and we will see you yeah. later to Bye. review some food. <laughs> Guys, our return time to ride Rise of the Resistance, even though she's just the outer part of it. Um, and then we're gonna walk in and get on the ride, and oh, this ride is so much fun. Yes, it's the best ride. It really is. It's just the theming as well. The fact that you get on the ride for a show, then you get off, then you get another show, and then you get like into a car. And honestly, you don't even need to be a huge Star Wars fan no. to love it. No, you don't. You don't have to know anything about Star Wars. You will just enjoy the ride, because it's so much fun. Oh my gosh, that air conditioning. Oh, it's so dark. Oh, it feels so good. Now you can't see me. Okay, I'll film later, bye. The outpost on Batu is no longer safe. We have transports waiting to take you to General Organa's secret base on Pakara. Stand clear. Get the doors all the way now. Come on. Ready to clear your gear. All recruits to transport. You're down on a midget, huh? Yes. I just want to be sure. <laughs> all recruits must be on board now. Transport is away. Did you get it together? We're taking the holiday interrogation.
workouts came in a little off target. So we just got off Rise of the Resistance. Literally so much fun. Oh, love that ride. So right now we are in Frontierland and we're gonna head over and ride Indiana Jones. We're just taking a little bit of a break because today is a very hot November day. Last weekend in Disneyland, it was like 70 degrees, cool, overcast, and today it is mid 90s, bright and sunny, no cloud to be seen. So we're just trying to stay cool because we have a very long day and we don't want to wear ourselves out with the sun. So we're trying to stay hydrated and just trying to sit when we can. So that is what we're doing right now. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to ride Indiana Jones. It's one of my favorite rides. So I've made an outfit change because as much as I love my red sparkly dress, it is far too hot today to wear it and I just wanted something comfier. We have now made it over to California Adventure so that way we can do the festival of holidays. So we just picked up our sip and savor pass. Now they do have an annual pass one where um, the lanyard's a little bit different but the kiosk we just went to ran out just as we got there and honestly we had waited like 20 minutes in line for it and we did not want to walk over to another one just to get a specialty lanyard but they are available to um, annual pass holders or key holders um, so you do get eight tabs it is $52 if you have an annual pass if you do not have one it is $57 and you get eight tabs that are available for any of the foods except for alcohol um, one thing that I will add is make sure to walk around to all of the booths first and kind of make a list of all the things that you want and see if the pass is worth it for you. Because if you're going to go with a lot more of the desserts, which are the cheaper options, it's not really going to be worth it. It's only worth it if you're only going to get eight items that are $7.50 and above. I already did all the math. I did all the work for you guys. So that way I could kind of see, is it worth it? Is it not worth it? Um, yeah, if you are getting a lot of the higher priced items, definitely worth it. If you're not, then I don't recommend it. Just buy those things individually. Um, but we are getting a lot of the more expensive items. So in our mind, $52 isn't too bad. Right now we only got one pass because we're trying to eat different foods and we don't know if we're gonna need a second pass or not. So um, if anything, I'm coming back in December. So we will get another pass then it does come with a little booklet in the booklet it has all of the stands in here where they are what food items are on there and all the fun things that are happening here during christmas so i'm really happy to be here even though it's super hot um but yeah i'm excited to go try our first food we are trying our first food stand which is called holiday duet here they have shrimp and grits i don't want to spare spell it can i speak first i'm just too excited and then we have a braised pork belly on uh fried garlic fried rice so i'm really excited to try both of these they smell delicious and look delicious okay let's try it's safe to say they were both delicious hmm. what are your thoughts so good i recommend definitely both of them the meat had a really good flavor. Could have used maybe a little bit of a sauce on top, but the shrimp and grits was also fantastic. Just, I, if you had to pick two, I would pick these two so far, definitely. And this stand is a little hidden. Um, it is actually between these gates as you're coming into DCA. So you're gonna have to kind of walk into here to see this one. But I see why it's a hidden gem, because this one is so, so good. Um, both of them were delicious. I highly recommend both. I don't favor one over the other, because they're two vastly different flavors. Uh, but yeah, thumbs up. All right, so we are on to our second stand, which is called a Trish on Tradition. So here we got the reimagined beef brisket Wellington, which sounds so good. And look how cute it is. It is shaped like Mickey. There's a lot of cilantro and like some type of cabbage-y. I don't know. Oh, no, it's not cabbage. It's like flowers. But it's a hidden Mickey under there. How cute. So I am a little disappointed with the beef wellington. Not going to lie. It's good. Um, it's definitely just a more bland, savory flavor. Um, which I know beef wellington's known for that. Just having that savory flavor. But I was hoping with the Greek yogurt on top, it would sweeten it up a little bit. Add something more to it. But it really didn't. The puff pastry part which was the Mickey was pretty good um, obviously eating it all together is good but I was really looking forward to this one and it's it kind of right, so we are at our third stand now we can 
we tipped. We skipped a couple of stands uh, just because we wanted a beverage from this one and we were really looking forward to it. So we are at the Favorite Things and we got the Chana Masala, um, which is like kind of like a curry dish with some garlic naan. And then we got the Hibiscus Ginger Mezcal Mule, which sounds so good and it looks good. <laughs> it's so cute. So I'm excited to try this stuff and finally have something nice and cool to drink because it is hot. All right, so we just finished with the chana masala, which I thought was super good, super flavorful. Love the garlic naan with it. Really delicious. Um, and then we got the mezcal mule, which it's okay. It's very sweet and sugary. Um, and then the tequila they use has like a smoky flavor to it. So I'm not sure if it's a taste that pairs very well together in my opinion. But then again, I don't know much about alcohol. So I'm one to judge that but I mean I still I still drank it like it's tolerable but just not my cup of tea what are your thoughts oh you're like in the sun oh, oops, oops. <laughs> it's like all in the sun there we go okay uh, similar feelings to Sarah I would say the chana masala was good very flavorful uh, my favorites were still the first two that we had but this one was much better than the beef Wellington the drink I probably wouldn't get again. It does have that smoky flavor. It doesn't really pair well. Very, very syrupy, kind of like a, just very sweet. A very, I don't know, kind of like a, it almost tastes like a cherry, like a cherry flavor. It kind of reminded me of the syrup at the bottom of like an icy. Like when you're drinking an icy and you get all that syrup in your mouth. Absolutely, that is exactly. That's, that's what it tastes but like. Then, you're just drinking the straight syrup. But then like mixed with like a smoky tequila. Yeah. So it, it just, they tried it just wasn't a good match no but it but i do recommend it in the sense of like you might like it yourself just wasn't for us unfortunately but that chana masala mm, that was Very good. really good that was really good i do like that one all, all right. right so we're gonna take a little bit of a wee break on some food right now because we are a little bit stuffed and, and like i said hot. it's so hot it's middle of the day right now and we just want some air conditioning but as we're walking past ariel's attraction look what we found so this is the annual pass holder lanyard that we didn't get this morning um, because they ran out but we happened to be walking by and we told the ladies hey we were at the one kiosk and she's like oh yeah yeah no we they told us that they ran out and so uh she was nice enough to give us one even though i need to put it on and i was like oh this is sweet so right now we're gonna go over and get into some ac because it is very hot. I know I keep saying that, but this is very abnormal weather. Um, it is still typically warm in SoCal during this time of year, but not, but not this warm. And not this warm. Six degrees in almost Christmas time. Yes, it is November 12th and 96 degrees, which is not not normal. It's like we're in Florida almost. That's I what know. It, that's what it feels like. I know. Back home where we live, it is 62 degrees and foggy. So that just tells you where how. Northern California is vastly different than SoCal. <laughs> um, but yeah, so let's go indoors and get some AC and cool off so we can do lots more fun activities tonight. So pro tip, if you are in Disneyland on a hot summer day and want to find things that are indoors and that's nice and cool, head on over to the movie theaters here. Normally it's Fair Hall Magic, but right now it is a preview for the new Marvel movie, Eternals, which we actually just watched and actually looks pretty good. Next stop, which is literally right across from it, is off the page. If you go in here and you go into the Animation Academy um, building here, which we're gonna go to the Animation Academy right now, where you can do the character drawings and stuff, there's tons of activities in here for kids to do, um, lots of little exploring, and it's nice and cold. So, need to cool off? Definitely head over to this area in California Adventure. We're drawing my favorite character, Stitch. <laughs> Welcome to start off with like a very light circle, almost like a clown. I like to put a little bit of a highlight right at the top of the eye. <laughs> Stop, my looks like a raccoon. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mia. So we just finished with our drawings. Here's mine. She went so fast, like really, really fast. And I was like, I was still working on my ears and she was like finishing up the class. How did yours go? Uh, mine is uh, just a little bit worse than Sarah's. It's fine. I lost the ears to. Oh, it's. Oh, it's. It I'm blurry. There. Oh. Come on. Oh, no. There you go. There you go. 
Okay, um, it looks like Stitch's evil distant, distant cousin. So, you know. But it's still fun. It's nice and cold in here, and you get to watch like the little, the, these little clips in here. This is normally where you meet Anna and Elsa. And then next we're gonna walk over to the uh, Sorcerer's Workshop, which is like a cute little area for kids to walk through. You get to see Belle's library. Like it's super cute back there, so let's go. So the Sorcerer's Workshop is another little place for you to draw. You can grab some pen and paper, and then you draw a Mickey head, and I'll walk up there and show you. And you draw it in order, and then kind of like how these work, which I'm not gonna, I think I'm at the wrong angle right now. Um, you can see it, you can put it to use and watch it like do the little production thing. It's super cool. It's like the stop motion with paper. So there's a lot of fun in here too. It's super cute with all the decorations and it's again nice and cold. Here's your paper and this is what you draw. So just past the sorcerer workshop is a little hidden room that many people do not even know exists here in California Adventure. It is actually the Beast's Library. Here we are. All right guys, so as you can tell, it is starting to cool off here. The sun is going down. It feels so much better. We just stayed indoors for the last hour and a half just to kind of like let that heat subside a little bit. But now we are back to trying some yummy food. So we went to Merry Mashup and we got the Carnitas Mac and Cheese. And it is topped with some cojita cheese, spice puffs, and a kawaii oaxa. I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry, I'm white. I don't know how to say things like that. But whatever that is, it does look good. And then Amber got the uh, honey guava pisco punch, which actually looks really good. So here it is. Here's the punch. And it is alcoholic. It's not non-alcoholic. And then here we go. I I think we found our winner today, guys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This mac and cheese is delicious. We were both so just good. saying, this needs to be an actual menu item here in California Adventure. The mac and cheese is creamy and it has a little bit of a spice to it. And you get the sweetness from the corn. And then there's like these little crispy rice things on top that give it a crunch. And has all the perfect oh. textures, the best flavor. I would, I would literally pay Same. full meal price for Same. this. I will 100%. Same. 100. It has everything. Like yeah. everything else that we did like, there was like one thing missing. But on this one, there was not one thing no. missing. It covered all the areas. It had flavor. It, it just it was so good. This is yeah. definitely something that when we come back We're next gonna, month, yep. we will get again because it was that good. How did you like your drink, the punch? My drink, I got the, it's like the little the little punch. It is really good compared to, especially compared to the other drink. It's sweet, but not overpowering. It's really refreshing. It has a very refreshing flavor. It pairs really well with the mac and cheese as well. Yeah. The only thing I, like the final comment I would say on the mac and cheese is if you don't like spicy, it might not be for you. It's not, it's not very spicy, but it's no. But if you're someone who's like, I don't do spice, Any spice you then won't you like won't it. You won't like it's it. just enough to kind of give it a little bit of a kick, but not overly spicy where you're like, your mouth is burning and it's on fire. No. It just, they like sprinkle it with something. So if yep. you don't like any spice, just tell them not to put it on top. But other than that, delicious. So good. Definitely so recommend happy. it with the drink. It yes. pairs perfect. If you perfect. are of age, if you're not, a, yes, don't uh, get 21, it if you're under 21. <laughs> but yes, highly recommend. We have a few more to try. We may not do them all this trip. We do have one more Disney trip uh, before all of this ends. So we're kind of splitting everything up. So we're doing half this time and half the next time. But yeah. now we're probably gonna go try some desserts. Cannot wait for the Me desserts. Too. The best part. <laughs> Sorry if it's a little loud over here. We could not find anywhere to stand and eat or find a table anywhere. There's one thing I'm a little bit bummed about with this is there is not enough tables at each food stand. I would say the more popular ones, they do about three to four standing tables. And then at some of the other ones, there's maybe two, three at most. 
which is just not enough tables for people to stand around and eat their food at. So we've had to come over here and sit down at a table to enjoy our next items, which are our desserts and our final treats of the night because we are gonna get stuffed from this. So this is from Making Spirits Bright. They have a cinnamon and sugar holiday tart and then a hot cocoa marshmallow macaroon. Now I do have to say, with the tart, it shows tons and tons of frosting on it in the picture, and I was like, oh, that's not, I mean, that's not a lot to me, and I love, like, frosting on top of my Pop-Tart, um, and I know it's not a Pop-Tart, but it is served cold, which is also interesting, because I figured something like this would be served at least warm, but it's, like, refrigerator cold, so do keep that in mind, but the macaroon, look how huge this thing is. It's actually pretty big, which is nice for it being, what, $5? Yeah, it's $5. So you do get a decent sized macaroon and both look really good, so let's try Okay, we found a much quieter place because earlier the band started playing and the music was just oh, so yeah. loud. They have it, it's like a whole mariachi type yeah. style band going on. It's cool though, I really enjoyed it, but for vlogging purposes, it makes it very hard to talk, so I apologize if you could not hear me very well in the last clip. So we did try the tart, the brown sugar tart, which was interesting to say the least. It was cold. Um, it had a good yeah. flavor, it was sweet, um, but I think I would have enjoyed it better had it been warmed up at least and not so cold. It was very doughy, like like cookie dough, but not as good of a flavor maybe yeah. as cookie dough. It, yeah. was, it was doughy, it needed to be warm, crispy, and I think it needed more frosting. Yeah, that too. But overall, it wasn't bad. It just wasn't, I guess, what I thought it would be. I thought, not that it would be a Pop-Tart, but like, just warm. similar. I just wanted it warm. I didn't know it was gonna be served cold, so that was kind of a shocker. But the uh, hot cocoa macaroon was very, very good. It has little peppermint sprinkles on top, so that pairing was very good. Very sweet, though. So Very rich, very, rich. very, very rich. I love it, personally. Granted, I can only eat so much of it but we just split everything so it was you perfect. Have to. There's yeah. no way you could you could eat that by yourself even yeah. if you have the biggest sweet tooth. Okay? No. You, even you, for have me. Do, you have to do half but yeah. it, was, it was hard on the outside, really soft on the inside. It had Very a good, good chocolate. Like that the was, chocolate was so rich yeah. and creamy. Oh, it was so good. So now for the rest of the night we are just gonna ride some rides because Woo! now it has cooled down. It's so much better to be outside guys. It is dark. And it's only five o'clock. Wild. And I just looked down. I was like, Oh, it's like five thirty. It is so perfect. And right it's now. dark. It and is. it's perfect weather. Perfect. It's beautiful out. And now we get to enjoy the rest of the night, just ride and ride. of our day in DCA eating all the lovely food and hanging out but now we are here for the holidays the tree so pretty is look here. at it oh! and then the castle which you're not gonna be able to see but it's here it's and so the wreaths pretty. and, all and we have the wreaths the Mickey wreaths everywhere so cute oh. I just love it. It's so pretty. It's been so long since I've last seen Disneyland at Christmas. It's probably been about six years now. So I'm excited to be back. But uh, we are going to head over to Matterhorn and ride oh, that. Babe. Yes, love it. Especially love riding it at night. It's just much scarier and spooky. Like, I just love it. But yeah, so oh my gosh, every time I ride Matterhorn, I always forget how rickety that thing is. I mean, it's still so much fun, but man, some of those turns, if you got lower back issues, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> um, I think right now we're gonna head over to It's a Small World because it is all decorated for the holidays and it is so pretty. I can see it from here, so I'm like excited. Oh, oh 
I'm losing it. I literally just filmed like this whole thing and it wasn't recording, unfortunately. But as I was saying previously, which you guys don't know because I wasn't recorded, is that it's a small world. It's all decorated for the holidays. And right now, unfortunately, it is closed because there was some flooding that happened yesterday. So that's a bummer. But hopefully by the end of our weekend, it does open back up. But I know you guys are waiting to see this. So let's look. Oh my God. <laughs> We did miss the lighting for it because we were on Space Mountain, but we did try to make it. Oh, you guys. All right, guys, that is it for today. I didn't film the fireworks because I was, honestly was just so tired and I was just standing there and there were tons of people standing around that it was just even difficult to get my arms up. So I took a quick snippet off my cell phone, but that was pretty much it for that. But yeah, so we are done for today. We still have another two full days here. And we have Dapper Day, and I'm really excited about that. Amber's never done it. I've never actually fully dressed up for it. I've somehow always been at Disney when it's going on. I just never dressed up for it. Um, but yeah, oh my gosh, I look so tired. This is like 14 hours of makeup. <laughs> my skin is done. But we're actually gonna run over to World of Disney really quick, do some quick shopping, um, and then head back to our hotel and get some much needed sleep because tomorrow is another long and hard, hot, hard. It is gonna be hard because it's gonna be hot again. But yeah, so I will see you in the next video. Bye!